yeah so good evening everyone uh, myself mitari chavla and i am going to present my presentation on the topic e myrates cabin crew so e myrates cabin crew have uh, one of the best pay and benefit packages in the airline industry it offers new and attractive packages for the new freshers especially for uh, in fact cabin crew are positively spoiled compared to their companies at rival airlines it is considered as one of the best a uh, company in comparison to the other rival airline companies not only is the base salary generous but a whole host of the other benefits make for a really valish package all cabin crew have to be based in dubai the home of emirates and are therefore paid in dirhams dirhams is the currency of dubai we uh, generally write it as aed and if we want to convert the uh, the uh, dirhams currency in indian currency its value is uh, 19 uh, rupees 19.96 so the airline also operates an exchange rate protection scheme as the dirhams is pegged against the us dollar so uh, before joining the uh, crew before joining the emirates cabin crew company you must want to know the basic salary or the package which the company offers so coming to the basic salary the uh, Emirates cabin crew offers the monthly salary of four thousand two hundred sixty dirhams, and uh, in compare in in uh, coming to the flying pay, so uh, the company offers fifty seven dirhams an hour from pushback to the arrival at the gate. Uh, before joining, you must tell yourself whether I would be able to work for eighty to one hundred ten flying hours per month, and you will be get the salary according to the hours you have worked for the company. Now, if you have now, if you want to uh, stay overnight, like in some uh, like in some days, you have you have to stay overnight. So the company also offers you overnight allowance. They will offer overnight allowance in terms of food and drink during layovers. Paid on arrival at the crew hotel in the local currency. Like whenever you reach the hotel, the company will provide you the currency, and it depends on you how much you are gonna spend this currency. And if at the last you are uh, left with some money, so you can keep it with yourself. So, so it is a very uh, beneficial point to, uh, if you want to join the Emirates cabin crew company. So here is a note: uh, flight attendants with Emirates Airways start out making between dollar thirty six thousand and fifty three thousand a year, which is a very good package. This salary includes base salary, flight hours, and layover payments, and it is tax free. So, and as you all know, Emirates also provides free accommodation to all the crew. Like uh, it is also includes housing bills. Now, coming to the accommodation and transport facilities provided by the Emirates cabin crew. So. The first accommodation is shared accommodation. Whenever you reach, whenever you reach uh, the country, you have to stay in hotel, but you have to uh, share the hotel with somebody else. So new cabin crew are expected to live in company provided shared accommodation. Now they will uh, definitely pay all your utility bills, but they will pay bills only for your necessities. Like if you want some additional personal services like TV, phone, and internet services, which definitely not everyone wants. For uh, so if you want these facilities, you have to pay it for your own. The company will not provide any expenses for your. Provide. You want no? I don't want this room. I want. The room of my choice. Probably. Stationary period, like till the time you are not a uh, like when you have become a permanent employee in the company, you can ask them to please offer me a different room. Like you have the right to ask them a new rent or your new room uh, whenever your probationary period ended. But till the time you are in your probationary period, you are not allowed to request any uh, rent. To, to uh, request any type of rent facilities uh, on your own choice. Now, married persons accommodation allowance. Now, uh, the company provides share accommodation as we have already discussed. But for a married person, he or she might not be comfortable in living for in living with somebody else. He want a separate room. So yes, if you are a married person and if you want to join E Marriott's cabin crew, then definitely you are at the right place. E uh, E Marriott's cabin crew offers you monthly accommodation allowance, and you can choose your uh, type of accommodation in which you want to live, and you can live on an individual basis. There is no such problem in that thing. 
now the transport e mirates will provide you a free shuttle bus between your accommodation and the airport like the expenses uh, the expenses in uh, going to, in going to airport from your home will be bear by the e mirates cabin crew company and if you don't want to use your accommodation you can keep it yourself because you will receive a monthly transportation allowance uh next coming to uh, job roles and responsibilities before joining any company we must look at the job roles and responsibilities and ask ourselves whether would we, whether we would be able to uh, uh, whether we would be able to perform all the jobs and the tasks which are required by the company whether we would be able to uh, fulfill the company's requirement so coming to emi rates cabin crew requirements uh, you the duties include uh, greeting passengers board and exit the planes like yes this is the uh, most important they are entering the plane and exiting the plane showing passengers to their seats and providing special attentions to certain passengers like there are many persons uh, which are travels in flight some are very elder some are very old and some are disabled so you need to pay special attention to these type of passengers whether they are not able to, uh, to see are they are getting sufficient services are they satisfied with the services that were are they facing any problem or something like that so uh, serving meals and refreshments as an employee in the e mirates cabin crew it's your responsibility to offer them a uh, good meals and refreshments on time checking the conditions and provision of emergency equipment and information for passengers it's your duty to check the uh, condition and provision of emergency equipment like uh, some of the passengers might have breathing problems so it's your responsibilities to uh, arrange any equip any emergency equipment for them in case of any uh, emergency demonstrating emergency equipment and safety procedures when you are giving that passengers any uh, equipment to use you must uh, demonstrate themselves the pros and cons of such instrument uh, to avoid further uh, disputes administering first aid you must provide first aid to your passengers in case of any emergencies you must be able to handle uh, with dealing with emergency instead of uh, getting panic and uh, supplying passengers with newspapers magazines and in flight entertainment like most of the old people generally uh, want to read newspapers in the flight so it's your duty to supply those passengers with newspapers and magazines which they want selling duty free commercial goods and pursuing sales target uh, produ producing written flight reports after completing the journey whenever the journey is completed it's your responsibilities to write a flight report and submit it to the uh, company uh, next the for now if you were now there are some requirements if you fulfill these requirements only then you would be able to join as an employee in the e mirates cabin crew company so let's discuss the requirements uh, so uh, if you want to join e mirates cabin crew company you must be at least 21 years of age at the time of joining it means you cannot able you will not be able to join as an employee in the company if you are under 21 years like if you are a uh, 20 or 19 then no you you are not perfect fit for this role you must have an arm reach of 200 or uh, 12 cm while standing on tiptoes because it leaves a very good impression your minimum height should be of 160 cm you must have you must be a high school graduate you must have a fluency in english because uh, if you are not able to speak in english or your or in any native language then you are not perfectly fit for this role because uh, cabin crew's uh, most important skill is uh, their communication skills it is their communication skills who uh, uh, who give a very good impression to all the passengers no visible tattoos while you are in e mirates cabin because some people do not like So these types of tattoos so it's better and or on your leg if you want to join an uh, emirates cabin crew company and uh, you must have the uh, flexibility to adapt to new people new places and new situations because in flight there are different people coming from different backgrounds coming from different areas so you must be able to communicate with everyone in a friendly uh, manner and you must be physically fit for this demanding role with a healthy body mass index you must have a positive attitude and empathy for others like if someone is suffering from a certain problem you can't ignore them 
you have to be sensitive towards them you have to show empathy for others and you have to help those passengers strong cultural awareness and the ability to adapt to new environments and people you must have the flexibility and motivation to manage a demanding work schedule like you can't complain like no i am not available at this hours no you can't complain you must have to uh, manage your demanding work schedule by the company so uh, coming to uh, additional additional attributes yeah uh, you must be safety conscious you must have to take care of the safety of the passengers you must have great communication skills in order to communicate with different people coming from different backgrounds you must be patient uh, you must be a problem solver like uh, you can't uh, tell the passengers like a flexible person and you must know how to work in a team you can't say that no i will work individually i will work individually i can't uh, i will not be a perfect fit for uh, working in a team no you have to work well in a team and uh, the benefits of joining uh, emirates cabin crew company is uniform like we have seen in many private companies uh, the employees have to bear the bear the uniform expenses on their own but in emirates cabin crew company your your uniform is fully paid by the company and whatever and what else you need dry cleaning and laundry laundering services are provided free of charge and uh, annual leave ticket and if you want to visit your home country so yes the company will definitely provide you a one free return ticket to anywhere in the emirates group network and also you can buy an unlimited number of tickets with 90% discount on standby the discount is also offered to immediate family limited to uh, two tickets per person per year now uh, you can also now one of the cherry on the cake is that you can also nominate 20 friends or family for special tickets with a reduced discount like if you want your friends or any family members or any relatives to uh, go to any particular place you can also provide them uh, tickets at free of cost the other benefits are face card the full form of face is flight attendance club of e myrits of it offers special discounts across dubai and the gulf region you can get money off at beach clubs restaurants gyms and retail shops if like uh, you are in dubai and if you want to visit any restaurant gyms any famous retail shops so yes you will definitely uh, get discounts by the company and uh, platinum card you can upgrade the discounts and get access to a wider range of deals by paying a small monthly fee like uh, if like if you will uh, google it you will definitely see that a uh, the person has to bear a lot of expenses if he if he or she wants to uh, visit any restaurant gyms but you will be getting all the opportunities by just paying a small monthly fee and you can upgrade the discounts uh, with the help of this small monthly fee luxury layover hotels emirates provides four to five uh, four or five star hotel situated in the city center or close to the airport your time is eligible dependence Uh, emirates provides hourly payment and daily meal allowance whenever you are flying right yes you will you will be getting hourly payment uh, like the hours in which you are spending in the flight and addressing the passengers and you will be also getting meal allowances you can take 30 days leave per year you will also get medical and dental insurance along with life and accident insurance like in case you suffer from any accident or in case you want a medical leave or if you want or if you are suffering from any medical injury then yes you will be provided insurance by the company uh, discounts at offer uh, discounts at over 100 dining retail hotels and leisure outlets in dubai and the uae if you want to visit certain uh, certain uh, places you will be definitely uh, be getting discounts by the company only you know you do not need to bear any expenses on your own now if you want to join uh, if you want to join as an employee in the emirates cabin crew company so you must have wondering like how to prepare for an interview if i want to uh, join the inter if you want to join the company like what else i need to uh, improve and what else i am lacking or what i am confident in which field i am confident so coming to the interview questions and answers 
the first question is tell me about yourself if you are interviewing for any other company it is the basic question tell me about yourself and the one most uh, trick to answer this question is you must follow a fees method that is f Double E S. F stands for full name. E stands for education. Uh, the next T stands for experience, and the next S stands for skills. So you must highlight those experience according to the job requirements. In this way, you have to answer this question. Like I have also given an example, as you can see in the PPT, you can answer uh, this question in this way. And it's better if you have a, an earlier experience also. It will definitely add a plus point on your resume. Next is uh, why do you want to work for an airline? Yes, this question is very important. In cabin two interviews, the key requirement is the teamwork along with knowing her personal responsibilities. So yes, you need to tell the interviewer why you want to join airline industry only. There are many other industries you can join that also. Why you are interested in a specific uh, field like why you want to join airline industry? So you must frame your answer in a way which shows your interest towards the airline industry and how you can contribute much more in the airline. uh industry next why do you work why do you want to work for a airline the candidate's answer must be framed in a way which gives us the idea of how much research she has done for the company before applying to not only a uh, cabin crew before applying to any interview you must have researched the company you must know the environment which the company is following you must know the uh, responsibilities you need to perform in those companies in those companies so you must have researched uh, the the company and its requirements and its uh, uh, salary package and you want to uh, and you need to present your answer in uh, uh, highlighting those requirements now uh, how will you react in emergency situations and how will you deal with the passengers this question is very important because in airline uh because in uh, in because in airlines there are many people who uh, there are many people uh, who need some emerg who uh, have very health issues or there can be any emergency situation so you need to perfectly fit for uh, so you need to have a leadership qualities you need to must have a problem solving skills so you can easily solve their problem and can uh, and can show your kind uh, kindly and caring nature towards them Uh, the next is uh, tell me about a time when you had to deal with a coworker who was not doing his or her fair share of the work what did you do and what was the outcome now the question can this question can be asked in a, a couple of different ways so basically the what is the objective of this question tell me about a time when you had to deal with a coworker who was not doing his or her fair of share of the work if somebody is not performing his or her work then how will you deal with that situation this is another behavioral question so uh, let's read this example uh, while serving lunch i saw him slow to take orders and attend to new customers i had to step into her field and be a part of her work after the service was over i asked him what was happening i came to know that her grandmother was seriously ill like uh, the person which she, the like the, your partner like as as i already discussed you have to work in a team so uh, your partner's grandmother was seriously ill and she received the news only this morning so you i helped her for the following days until she felt better she appreciated my desire to do something for her and whenever necessary we are taking extra work from each other like in this example we have uh, seen that the employee the employee doesn't care whether it is his work whether it is her work or someone's other work what he cares is the reputation of the company like it, these things should not definitely come in your way like why would i perform his or her work why should i do it it's her duty why she can't do this duty no this attitude is basic base this is attitude is definitely not fair you have to support each other if you are working in a team so you must so uh, you must have a caring attitude towards your colleagues also now uh, next question is are you a multilingual person multilingual person means uh, can you speak more than one languages or how many languages can you speak so uh, he must the uh, if you are interviewing for a cabin cruise interview so you must be able to speak the native language of the country where the flight operates like the emirates cabin cruise company emirates cabin cruise operates in dubai so you must know the language of dubai that is uh, arabic so you you must know your mother tongue if you are from uh, india you must know hindi you must know english which is the basic necessity and you must know the native language of the country where the flight operates because people come from dubai 
so you must so if you are not able to understand their language how will you deal with their situations so yes you have to you have the ability to speak in all the languages with confidence the next question is How do you resolve a dispute? Then our chances that certain also you can't ignore them. You have to uh, listen to both the person's opinion who are fighting. with each other you must not judge them on the basis of of their uh, situation do not try to embarrass any passengers which is the most important thing so you must have the capability to adapt yourself into different situations and it is not a matter of only dispute there can be different situations in which you have to uh, adapt yourself uh, according to the situation now the next question is do you work better by your Or in a group. Now, uh, Uh, do you have any questions for me? If you are applying for an Emirates cabin crew interview, the interviewer must ask yourself: Do you have any questions for me? My advice is never say no. Hundred percent, I am hundred percent sure you must definitely have queries. Not only related to salary packages, you must have uh, questions related to the company's background, uh, your roles. Uh, you also want to know how uh, the uh, you also want to know how much the company has achieved in the past years because in an interview it's not only you who who are giving interview you are also taking the interview of the company so you must ask questions like in the uh, uh, Emirates cabin crew interviews you must ask I would like to know what does the airline value the most yes you can ask this question what is the most important thing that I should do to to contribute in my first months of flying this, how do you think i performed during this assessment yes this is not compulsory but yes you can ask this question also like how do i think i performed during this assessment it will uh, definitely prepare them for your next interviews if you are in case you are not selected for uh, this interview also so yes this is all about emirates cabin crew interview if you are appearing for such kind of interviews so all the very best from my side uh, do your best show confidence and uh, remember you must have the capability to uh, speak in english or in native language of the country you must have the ability to deal with different people at different situation you must having the problem solving skills you must have you must be having the leadership qualities and you must be able to work on different work schedules given by the company so yes that's it from my thank you so much for listening to my presentation i am done okay